PBS was shocked to learn today of these deeply disturbing allegations, the public broadcasting service said in a statement. We are immediately suspending distribution of Charlie Rose. Kyle Godfrey Ryan, one of Rose's former assistants, was 21 when she said Rose repeatedly called her to describe his fantasies of her swimming naked at the pool at his Long Island home while he watched from his bedroom. She said she was fired when Rose learned she had spoken to a mutual friend about his behavior. Rose said that he has behaved insensitively at times and I accept responsibility for that, though I do not believe that all of these allegations are accurate. I always felt that I was pursuing shared feelings, even though I now realize I was mistaken. I have learned a great deal as a result of these events, and I hope others will, too. He also hosts CBS This Morning with Gail King and Nora O'Donnell, a critically acclaimed morning news program which has been gaining the past few years on its better-known rivals. Rose also conducts interviews for 60 Minutes. Despite his age and heart troubles in the past, Rose had been one of the busiest figures in television. Two hours after the Post story went online, one of its authors, Amy Britton, tweeted that, sadly, my inbox is already flooded with women who have had similar, disturbing encounters with Charlie Rose. Rose owned his interview show, even though PBS distributed it, and that raised questions of what recourse women who had complaints about his behavior could do. The Post quoted Yvette Vega, his longtime executive producer, as saying she failed and deeply regretted not helping women who complained about his behavior. Stories of sexual misconduct have been coming in a flood since the New York Times first reported on Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein's behavior in early October. Even on Monday, the Times suspended White House reporter Glenn Thrush while it looked into a story about him making drunken, unwanted advances on women. In the news business alone, NBC political reporter Mark Halperin and top national public radio news executive Michael Orsks have lost their jobs. All of the cases that raise the issue of sexual harassment, which is a terrible thing, and, has probably been not exposed enough, Rose said. Not enough in the sense of the attention in the past, so that people were afraid to come forward. I think people are coming forward now.